The Marine Corps has also launched a new recruiting campaign, and some people consider it a not-so-subtle put-down of the Army's attempt to join the younger generation. The Marines emphasize they're not joining anybody, that it's tougher than ever to become a Marine, and that only men, not boys, need apply. They also admit that the real purpose of the Marines is to fight wars. For nearly two centuries now, we've kept our standards high and our ranks small. We're a tough club to join and a tough team to make, and that's exactly how we're going to keep it. As recruits in the United States Marine Corps, you are the lords of all ranks and will conduct yourself accordingly, affording all superiors proper military courtesy. Any time that you're spoken to, you will always use the word yes sir, no sir. Any time that you want to speak to a drill instructor or any Marine around here, you will come up, get yourself at the position of attention, which you are at right now, and say, sir, private, whatever your last name is, request permission to speak. You will speak when spoken to, not until. All right, as soon as I give you the word, I want you to take everything out of your pockets, turn your pockets inside out, take your wallet out, take all your pictures and papers out of your wallet, lay them up on the table. All right, you got about 45 seconds to get it done. Move it out. As the musical theme for their recruiting campaign, right, the Marines plan to use right. the popular ballot, I Never Promised I'll You a Rose Garden. Recruits arriving at Paris Island are likely to consider that an understatement. The Marines call it the shock treatment. For nine weeks, the would-be Marine lives in a fashion that is definitely not permissive. Bring this knife up on the table when you get through, you understand? The separation from the last vestiges of civilian identity is both rapid and complete. We want a few good men who are proud of their country and who want to serve it in a proud court. We want men who aren't conformists, but who are disciplined individualists who believe in principles because they have made the decision themselves and not just followed a fad. If everyone could be a Marine, we wouldn't be the Marines. We want quality, not quantity. And we're not looking for a lot of Marines. We just want a few good men. The few good men the Marines say they're looking for will spend a lot of time like this. The emphasis is on pride and discipline achieved by pushing the recruit further than he thinks he can go, both physically and mentally. The Marines are not interested in young America's changing lifestyles. The Corps has its own lifestyle, and they're not planning to change it. Nobody likes war or wants war. Somebody has to know how to fight to win. I want to see some blood. 
Get it. saying out there after you get through with it. You understand? continuing to train the Marines the way we've always trained them. No compromises, no shortcuts, no promises except one. They'll be Marines. You better hurry up and get up that day, sweetheart. You better hurry up. One at a time, one at a time, one step at a time, sweetheart. One step at a time. Come on, fellas. In front of hand, three and two. Get out! 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 Get out!